I would just spend all my time alone. Surrendering to the fact that you're not in control. For the sake of trying, you have to try. A child doesn't need a mom, he needs a happy mom. Whatever it takes to find the right person, I want the right person. That moment I stood and I was like, I'm happy. Yeah. You can only do your best and you're doing your best. How do you leave a marriage when you know it's not working? Like, how did you find the strength? When did you know it was right? Like, I think it's easier to get out of a relationship before you're married, but when you're actually married to someone, even when you have children with someone. Definitely, for the sake of trying, you have to try. But if you try every trick in the bag and nothing works and you're you're miserable, I don't believe in, in stay for the kids. I don't believe in that. Because if the kids see the wrong type of love, they grow up, you know, like disturbed. Yeah. When it comes to that, that emotion, number one. Number two, a child doesn't need a mom. He needs a happy mom. This is what people don't get. This is what women don't get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can't fill from an empty cup. No matter how much you say you're content and you're staying with him for the kids and you love that decision, mm -hmm. internally you're not happy. You're right. broken. That shows. No matter how much you try to hide it, it mm -hmm. shows. I live once and the only thing I cannot take back is time. So I would walk away even if I had 10 kids. Wow. I'd take my kids and I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do because I deserve to be happy. Freedom and, ha and happiness is a God-given right. Everyone should practice. If it doesn't fit, change. Society and culture taught us that it's way deeper than that. That's why most of the women I know that have stayed in broken marriages, all of them are sick. They have diseases. Oh, God. Because it reflects on you. Your emotions reflect on you physically. Mm -hmm. And they all say the same thing. I think I got sick because I stayed. Oof. Yeah. And I don't want to be like that. Yeah. And I don't want any other woman to do that. You know, you were not happy. You tried, walk away. Mm -hmm. It's not like be a child and take a random decision. Oh, I'm right. not happy. Oh, oh, he didn't buy me the shoes I want. I'm, I'm leaving him. So that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is very deep in terms of treatment, trust, respect, loyalty. Mm -hmm. If these pillars are, are not there, love is not important. Because you can fall in love over and over and over again. And every time we fall in love, we fall harder and stronger because we learn. Every delay has a blessing, right? 100%, 100%. A lot of the reasons why women stay in broken relationships, A, kids, B, in the legal work, they don't go through that and then three is the society but none of them you're not serving yourself in any of them legal work get someone to do it for you society who cares they speak about you even when you're married even if you're not married even if if you're covered if you're not covered people talk all the time it's true yeah for the kids as i mentioned earlier the kids need happy fam a family happy parents happy mothers mm -hmm. so if you feel like you're in a relationship that's not working you tried everything there's nothing wrong with walking away yeah. You're not deemed to stay with this person forever. You know, why cry about it? And I'm a person that doesn't live in the future or the past because none of them exist. My dad's like, twice. I'm like, dad, three, four, whatever it takes to find the right person. I want the right person. And he's like, okay. He's like, what did you learn? And the thing is, us as humans, if we sit down and try to remember what we learned, we never know, but it's imprinted in us. But I hope we apply it next time. For me, when I need an answer for something and I'm asking God, please help me decide in this thing or mm -hmm. I need an advice. Yeah. This is something I learned since I was a baby because mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot of people around me that advised me. It was mm -hmm. only me, my mom and my sister and brother. They were very young. Yeah. So I always needed advice and guidance and I would ask God for it. I believe it would come to me around whether you telling me an advice yeah. or reading a book that has mm -hmm. something or it's like an answer for my question. So that's why I never take it for granted when I tell you something and you immediately tell me, have you thought of it like this? Well, I read this book and it says like this and this and that. Mm -hmm. To me, it's an answer that I asked for. Mm -hmm. That's why you're telling me this. Yeah. That's why I take it and I really think about it. It's not just, oh, she said something, forget yeah. about it. So when you're in a dark place in your life, there's a lot of ways that you can take. Yeah. Some people take the wrong ways. And alhamdulillah, for me, I feel like I started connecting more with God because I started talking to God. A lot of people are intimidated or they're scared or they just feel like they just don't want to even try it, you know, because it sounds a bit like if you're not spiritual, it sounds crazy. I didn't have another choice. I didn't felt have, like you didn't have anyone else to turn to. I didn't have anyone else to turn on to. Mm -hmm. And then every day it's, it's even bigger and bigger. Sometimes when I ask for things, I know they're going to happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I go through hardship in life, I know they're happening to me for a reason. Because God yeah. trying to teach me a lesson and mm -hmm. it's like I feel it. Yeah. It's like I feel him telling me that just bear with me. I'm just teaching you something because mm -hmm. you're going 
to another level of your life. Yeah. And I guess just being alone a lot teaches you to be spiritual. I think so. I remember like when I started going through a lot of growth and changes in the company, it was like from 2016 to probably 2018. It was really crazy, like crazy times where like I couldn't even bear from how much work yeah. I had. It was really hard and I was struggling. I isolated myself for a while and I got really like, I would just spend all my time alone yeah. and I got very spiritual, but I also found my way. Like I feel like it gave me a lot of clarity and I feel like I needed it. I had moments where like I like also just had a lot of fear and anxiety and like I would worry so much. Then I remembered like, and this is probably what helped me with my spirituality, like made me super spiritual is like surrendering to the fact that you're not in control and do your best, but just accept that whatever happens is part of like God's plan mm -hmm. and go with it <laughs> and just believe that there's some greatness that will come out of it. Like that would always make me feel better. And every time I'd surrender to that, I would feel better. And actually like things would happen a lot smoother because when you live in fear and when you live in anxiety, you live in worry, like you just don't make the best decisions. So you just need to like have that faith. And We're not in control. Together. You're right. We're not. We surrender. are not. Like, we that's think like, we are. Surrender to the fact that, you know, you can try to be as safe as you can, but you'll never be in control. And once you surrender, the anxiety goes. But whatever happens will happen and you just can't control it 100 percent yeah you can only do your best and you're doing your best so as long as you're doing your best you have nothing else to worry about